Hello YouTube, this is another short demo of my CNC pendant slash controller because you can use it for other purposes as well and here you can see how it works this is the z-axis this is the y and this is the x As you can see, you can use it without to have to switch between the axes or whatnot, and it just works. Uh, this CNC is powered on uh, since this morning, around 11. Well, morning is by me 11 o'clock. <laughs> um, so over here you have my CNC controller with my stepper driver board. It's sitting on a 24 volt power supply. That's the inverter I use for the spindle. And uh, what would be actually nice if you could, you could turn on and off the spindle that you can do, but I don't know, you could maybe adjust the speed of the RPM, but that's too much. You don't want to control your CNC, you want to just move it to the position you want. So this is my pendant. I will call it the Picasso of CNC pendants because it looks like a painting of Picasso. I did a Google search the other day and uh, <laughs> he really has some <laughs> great paintings. I like them. Anyhow, this is my pendant. I show you it before. This is the second video and um, this is it. If you want to get it, drop me a line. I will put it up on Tindy also. And it kind of looks spooky, you know? The rotor encoders look really like eyes. Anyhow, this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is a short one. Take care, everybody.